Hello. Uh, right now, I'll be talking about the K server problems. So let's try to understand, like in a general sense, what the problem is. Let's say we have K number of servers. Let's say this is my server one, S one. I have somewhere in my space server two, and let's say I have server three. So right now, I have a three server problem. For just for the sake of this example. Now. Since our algorithm deals with assigning the uh, assigning the servers to the incoming requests, which are like the continuously coming requests, and the algorithm is an online algorithm, I'll have a request that arrives. Let's say the request Q1 that arrives at a time Q1, and let's say a request that arrives somewhere here in the time Q2, in the time Q2, and another request, let's say Q3 at time T3. And let's say one more q4 at time t4. Now, what my problem is, I have to assign each of these server to a particular request. So now, as per part of the optimization algorithm, the problem here is that I obviously want to assign the nearest server, the server which is closest to the incoming request. This way, I'll be minimizing my efforts of the server, or let's say I'll be minimizing my cost. So just for instance, in this particular scenario, let's say I'll assign uh, S1 to Q2, Q4, and similarly I'll assign uh, other servers to the corresponding request. Okay. okay, so now let us come at some practical application of my K server problems. Now, let's say I own a company, which is my customer support company, and let's say I have two employees who are serving as technicians. We have named them as Ghosh and Amya. Our company is a Kolkata is based in Kolkata. We have our head offices in Kolkata and we serve in three cities, Kolkata itself, Hyderabad and Bangalore. Now, let us assume that we already know the kind of uh, customer request that we'll be getting. Let's say I have to serve a customer daily in Kolkata and one in Bangalore and one in Hyderabad. So per day request will be one request over here, another request is coming over here and this is coming over here. This is my per day request that I'm receiving here. And let's say we already know that this is my nature of request that I'm receiving. So can we think of, uh, can we logically think of a possible solution for this scenario? Let's say it is pretty obvious to come with a solution. Let's say Ghosh stays in Calcutta, whereas Amya goes to Hyderabad and then travels to Bangalore to serve both of these requests. This way, I'm minimizing the distance that my employees need to travel for this situation. But we have made an assumption over here. Assumption is that we already know the nature of the request that we are, that we are getting. But since we cannot predict the future, we don't know the nature of the request and the time and the location where the request might arrive. So this is the main problem in the online mode in the online mode of the K server algorithm. You don't know at what point and at what location the request will be coming. So, huh. can we start? Hmm. So, let us, uh, let us talk about one of the greedy approach of solving the online K server problem. Let's say I'm getting a request, request per day in Kolkata and let's say I'm getting one request in Hyderabad daily. So, what can be the, my possible solution? Let's say I has assigned Ghosh to Kolkata and I send Amya to Hyderabad. This way, the total distance traveled by my server will be 0 for this and 900 for this. And the total distance traveled will be 900. So, after that, both of my these employees, one staying in Hyderabad, other staying in Kolkata, will be able to serve the arriving request very appropriately. And this is the optimized, uh, best possible optimized solution that we can have. But will this method always work? No, it won't. Let us take a contradictory example. Let's say I'm getting a request each day in Bangalore and I'm getting another request each day in Hyderabad. So let's say I'm sending Amya to Hyderabad and then since next request arrives in Bangalore, since Amya is the closest server, he'll be moved to Bangalore and then another request, the third request will, uh, have been, uh, will be in Hyderabad. So Amya will keep on traveling between Hyderabad and Bangalore. Let's try to analyze this thing for, 100, in, for the span of 100 days. The total distance traveled in a span of 100 days will be uh, 100 into 100, which is 10,000, and 900 for initially to travel from Kolkata to Hyderabad. This distance is total of uh, 10,900, 
But is this the optimal solution? What can be the what will be the logical optimal solution? Let's say I send Ghosh to Hyderabad and Amir to Bangalore. This way, my total distance traveled by my employees will be thousand kilometers in total. And this this is it. Uh, now one employee is stationed in Hyderabad, another is stationed in Bangalore with a total distance traveled of hundred thousand kilometers. Pause. Logically, what would be the optimal solution in this scenario? Let's say I send Ghosh to Hyderabad and Amya to Bangalore. The distance traveled by Amya will be 900 plus uh, 900 plus 100, which is 1000 kilometers, and the distance traveled by Ghosh will be just 900 kilometers. So, this is the total distance of 1900 kilometers. After that, for my successive days, since uh, Ghosh is staying in Hyderabad and Amir is stationed in Bangalore, they'll be serving all, all the arriving requests in these cities. Thus, my optimal solution is 1900, which is which cannot be achieved by my greedy algorithm, which uh, states the solution to be 10,900. Having addressed the problem, now let us try to look at the best possible solutions that have existed so far. In 1995, there was this work function algorithm that was known to be best till 2011. In 2011, a randomized algorithm was proposed which solves the problem in competitive bond of log square k and log cube n, where k is my number of servers and n is the number of requests. These are the two major known best possible solutions for the case of online case server problem. But the question still arrives at one thing, can we predict the future? No, I think we can't. We, the science have not yet developed to predict the future. So thus, this problem still remains to be an open problem.